Leo, hello, my darlings. Welcome to your July reading. I am using the Guardian Angel Tarot for you today, uh, and we shall see what messages wish to come out for you. Thank you as ever for your love, your likes, your support, your subscribes. I am always eternally grateful. Thank you, my darlings. So let's see what the first cards come out. We've got the High Priestess has come out for you. This is where you are uh, right now. And I'm seeing the dreamer on the bottom of the deck as well, which is the fool. So this is wonderful. I really feel like there's a milestone that's been, uh, and that you have accomplished where you are right now. Let's see your intention. Thank you. I will go through these cards. Obviously, I just want to pull uh, them first of all. Thank you for Leo. Thank you. What wishes to come out for Leo? Thank you, spirit. Queen of Wands, well, there you are as a fire sign, beautiful energy, beautiful, beautiful energy. Uh, what is your, um, what is Spirit's advice for you? Thank you at this time. Thank you. Eight of Wands, wow. And what is the potential outcome? Thank you, Spirit. What is the potential outcome? Thank you. <laughs> six, the six, um, six of Wands. And you've got the four of cups on the bottom of the deck. Okay, my darlings, um, big message for you here. Uh, you've got the four of cups as an overriding energy. Let go of the story you've been telling yourself about who you are from the past, from perhaps past choices that you've made or other people have made for you. This is a very similar um, energy, but coming through as a different card in the Aries reading that I've just done. Interesting. Let go of this mentality, this mindset that you are a certain something because of what has happened to you in the past. I can see from the rest of these cards that you've learned from the past. You've rewritten so much of who you are. It's in the history books almost it's, you know, it's, it's a fact. And history has taught you, your past has taught you so much, but there is a certain something that you haven't quite let go of. And it's just a reminder that the past is gone. We, what is remains, we're always in this perpetual present. Always. The past has gone. And what remains from the past in your present is the story of what you say today about the past. So is there something that you're still saying that you know doesn't feel right for you, but it's perhaps a habit that you have? Anyway, there's just a little something because that's within that energy. And I'm getting the expression, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So it's something that perhaps you have done over and over and over again. But I feel that's why that milestone word is coming up for me. I feel that there has been a certain achievement that you've recognized now where you missed the point before. Because there is for you great success that's very much in alignment with your goals lined up for you. And spirit is literally... I always used to I always used to say that sometimes the universe gives us a little slap on the on the hand when they want to get us attention, and sometimes a slap around the face when they really want to give us attention. So they're asking because you've got the high priestess here, which is about being in a state of observation and um, not necessarily taking action that we might consider action, but very much decisive mental emotional action with the right focus and the right intention. So there is just something that you're failing to recognize. And it's all for you. And the seeds are there already within you. That's the apple again. So have a think about actually what you are not letting go of, but it's a misconception you have about yourself. And we all have. To a certain extent, whenever we're faced with challenges, something new, something unknown, we're all faced with that little 
girl or boy in us that thinks we can't do this, we're not good enough. Um, what happens if we fail? That's not who I am. People think I'm this and I'm not this. We all have that imposter syndrome within us. All of us do. It's what makes us human. But let that fear turn into a bubbling excitement, feeling excited and ready, because you wouldn't have been given an opportunity, an opportunity that's come from the universe unless you were ready to receive it, take it, and do magical things with it. It's come to you for a reason. It's come to you because you're the right person. So the High Priestess card is to say that you have a sense about you of being so aware of what is happening and who you are. But there is a need to observe more. And you know this. And there is a need to trust your intuition. And you also know this. And it is also to say that whatever signs you see here, the shooting star, whatever signs that you are receiving at this time, they're all true. This is coming back to this four of cups here. Do you see with the angel behind the tree trying to give this cup? But when you're focused on what is not, you can't receive what is. Your energy blocks it. So come away from any regrets that you may have because all of those experiences, all of those what you might have considered failures but were extraordinary spiritual successes because they made you this version of you today, encouraged you to be this version of who you are today, all happened for a reason. They all happened for a reason. And they all happened to bring you to this, to this, to this. So flip it, my darling. Flip this mentality or mindset that you are not capable, that you are not able. You are more than able. You are more than capable. And then you will step into, and already are, because this is the energy of you, this queen of wands. Hmm. I love the queen of wands. She's very much um, far energy, as we know. She does things because she knows and feels that they are right to do. She has a deep desire, she has a deep drive, and she takes action when she gets almost driven by it. Have you noticed that when you get lost in that type of action, the time stands still, it just, it doesn't exist. You are limitless in that moment. You are endless in that moment because you are source energy in that moment doing what you intended to come here to do. We don't necessarily know our life's purposes or our, what is the overall outcome of our lives, but it may be one simple moment, one assistance of, of another, being a mother to children, being an advocate for those that can't speak. It may be a very huge or a very simple soul's mission. But whatever it is, it speaks to you. Whatever it is, you've already experienced things to help you achieve this. Your confidence, my darling, may have taken a bit of a knocking. But everything you've done was designed, everything that's happened was designed to bring you into more confidence, to show you to be confident, to take inspired, confident action. And there is nothing that you can't achieve when you believe in yourself. That belief is a powerful driving force. And when you believe in yourself, 
then the universe matches it. The universe lines up through you. And that energy, wow, this is the energy here with the, uh, this is the eight of wands. Where attention goes, energy flows. So at the moment, this is the energy that is stuck. There is growth, there's been growth, the apples are ripe for picking, but you're not seeing it because you're focused, I do apologize, you're focused on what has been, what might be, what could be. Focus on the perpetual present, darling. What is happening now in your life that needs your attention? Because then that focus comes away from stuck energy. And then what you're doing is you're redirecting. Where attention goes, energy flows. Where your emotions go, energy flows. Energy in motion, emotion. Focus, focus, my darling, now on where you desire and wish to go. This is your choice now in this perpetual present to do this. And then, because you've got fireworks here and you've got fireworks in this card, expect to see, expect, I think, I feel you're so close. I keep getting that word milestone. You're so close to a, an achievement of something, whether it is a timely milestone or a, um, a sort of a milestone, a very personal milestone for yourself, but you're so close. And there is success. There is victory. But you see, it's movement. She's wearing her gym kit here. So it's all about movement. It's all about getting up now. Shrugging off and saying, do you know what? Actually, I'm going to do something about this. I'm going to move through this. But you've got to take the action, inspired action, to do so. And it's not going to be a walk in the park. It's going to be a little bit of an uphill struggle. She's got here, you know, the sort of, she's come up to the top of a hill. But it's not to say, do you know how when we set ourselves challenges and we do things that, um, you know, we might not wish or desire to do? Actually, it feels really, really good. Um, you know, my my thing is about sort of exercise. And, um, you know, when I don't want to do it, but I push myself through it and do it, I feel amazing afterwards. So that's what Spirit is saying. Sometimes I can tell you that there are days where I feel a fear, and I'm a, I'm a fire sign, I feel a fear about coming to sit here and read. And I know that comes from the imposter syndrome within me, that little bit of me that says, really? And when I come and sit down, I walk through that fear and I sit down and I start, it all falls away. It's like, the, it's the law of non-resistance. When you resist it, when you resist the fear, it remains there, it persists, it persists, it persists. When you choose to ignore it and walk straight through it, it sort of just dissolves, it dissipates, it never was there. And you're actually shown a completely different experience. And that's what spirit is saying uh, for you. So whatever this may be for you, my darling, um, I know that you're going to make very wise choices for yourself. You have in the past. Look to see what the past has given you now in the present. But you, sweetheart, there is a completion here. I'm, I'm just seeing this sort of sign, this symbol up the top here. There is a completion here. And there is something missing to complete that. And I believe you know what it is. And you've got the dragons here as well with the protection. And just go for it, my Danny, go for it, because you're so close to a milestone, so close. So, so much love to you. I look forward to doing another reading for you very soon. Uh, in the meantime, you have your weeklies and your um, dailies and also the summer readings as well. Take care, my darlings, and lots of love. Bye bye.